it appears that Corey may be engaged while he's still married to Carmen. He states, I appreciate you for the woman you are and the man you're helping me to become. Then he adds Maddie and states, I love you, Ma. It's official 625-24. Now it's us against the world. Then he also goes on to say, it hit different when you meet a woman that actually pours into you. When she help you become more a man than you thought you were, women can teach you a lot of you let them vice versa everything ain't meant for the world to understand the world not living in your life you're living in the world but it seems like Corey may not be completely done with Carmen now you guys know Corey's Instagram page was deleted and he blamed it on Carmen well yesterday Carmen's page was also took down as well and after the fact Corey went on to his Instagram and posted a demon time emoji and said tick tock tick tock now let's move on to this next topic with King and Elena because now they've been getting a lot of heat after they posted this video titled surprise helicopter ride on our four-year anniversary so the comments immediately started rolling in people were saying things like Kaiser is five, Ocean is two, and y'all been together for years? Another person states, four years doesn't sound accurate. Was this a typo? Someone else states, Lena and King being messy. Another person says, it's definitely three years. If so, he cheated with her on Neek, cause he and Neek break up 2020 in September. But happy anniversary though. If two plus two equals four, then what the F is this? Nick and King were still together three years ago. So if y'all were together for four years, then the math not mathing. Another person stated, instead of worrying about the title, how about y'all just like the damn video and say happy anniversary? Who care how many years? Someone responds with, I guess it matters for some because that would indeed prove he was cheating on Neek with Lena after they said he didn't. So now Neek and King allegedly broke up around September of 2020. Now back in July of 2020, which is around this time, Neek and King were still together even posting videos on YouTube. Not saying that their relationship wasn't rocky, but they were still together. Now after King and Lena started seeing these comments, they then changed the anniversary date to year three, but they forgot to change the thumbnail because it still says our four year anniversary. Now I'm not thinking this was a typo. I think they actually did mean to put four year anniversary. Now maybe they got the dates mixed up and thought they were together four years and they were really only together three, but I do think that they thought that this was their fourth anniversary, either if they were actually together for four years or if they made a mistake. But anyways, King's ex Ashley and the girl that Neek originally thought that King was cheating on her with, which Neek stated in one of those videos, he was cheating on her and Ashley was one of the women he was cheating on her with. I've known about the girl because it was one of the girls that he was actually talking to. And um, one time he, uh, we had a whole argument about the girl and how he, you know, it was kind of one of those situations where it's like, you don't have to worry about her. She's only doing my hair. It's nothing like that. See, you just, you so insecure, da 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 da. And in that situation, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like one of those moments like, you know, it was like, oh, she was one of the girls you do, told you not to worry about. And that's completely, Fine. Like, you know. Now, Ashley in the past has denied being the other woman. She stated that King and Elena were actually talking way before she met King, meaning Elena would have been one of the ones that he actually cheated on Neek with. So now while Ashley was on live, she had Ooh, this to say. Smaller, yeah. Child, you was right. Them people just got caught saying they've been together for four years. Who? Wait, what? Who are you talking about? Who got caught? Okay. Okay. 
What do you mean? I, I think it has been about four years, right? I think naturally it has been about four years. My daughter was, no, maybe my daughter was like three. Oh, okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I think my daughter was like three. I can't remember. I was staying in my old apartment, but <laughs> that's funny. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was all for y'all to figure out. Like, all I did was put it in the air and y'all could have did what y'all wanted with that information. So, yeah. Um, I think everybody was calling you a liar clock. Your baby has already been clocked on my mother. I clocked that shit years ago. One thing about me, I'm a PI. Y'all know what a PI is? A private investigator. And if you listen for a long time niggas literally tell on themselves all you gotta do is listen i'm telling you niggas talk too much they talk a lot you listen and they will tell on themselves that's why i say sometimes it's just best to just be silent be quiet and just listen that's the thing niggas always want to be like oh y'all talking too much just listen if y'all learn to listen yes listen to that man when you learn to listen baby you find out way more without having to go look for it whatever without having to wait for it to come to you they will literally tell on themselves i swear to you so when a man talks baby now again for this entire time ashley has pled her innocence and stated that she wasn't one of the ones that broke Neek and King up. Again, she stated Lena was in the picture way before anyone knew about her. And she was actually one of the ones that King was sneaking around with. Now, I want to read this last comment and I want to get your opinions on it. Someone stated, so who believes that Lena moved to Baton Rouge from Rhode Island to attend LSU in Baton Rouge? and King met her in Baton Rouge after exchanging numbers. This girl never lived in BR, yet alone attended LSU. They have been faking their entire story since day one. Now I did go back and look on Lena's Instagram and what's so funny is that in July of 2020, which would make that four years ago, is when King started liking Lena's pictures. Now I went back because of course he could have started talking to her later and then liking some of her older pictures, but how ironic is it that this is the first picture that he liked and he didn't like any pictures from previous dates. Meaning the likes on her Instagram posts started in July of 2020. Again, he didn't go back and like pictures from June of 2020 or May of 2020, anything from 2019. He started liking her pictures in July. So you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. Was Lena actually the other woman that caused the breakup between Neek and King?